Okay, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol IFXY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis. Did it yesterday. So that's where these green and red lines are coming from. Uh, but one thing that I'm not sure on, uh, so if you're watching the price action, but I'm, I'm thinking this was a, a, a fat finger trade, but there was a lot of volume on that candle. So maybe the price actually did go all the way down there and then the bulls quickly shot it back up. But my guess would be it was probably just a, a minimal shares that, are, that hit the bid down there and then the price quickly snapped back up. But I don't know, given the amount of volume, maybe the price actually did pull regardless or did go to all the way down there and then you know pull itself back upwards. But regardless, the price recovered. And that's where kind of the tricky part now comes into play because you know, from a presentation standpoint, it's, it's difficult to talk about charts like this because there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought right there or you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 20 minutes after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking kind of rough. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, I get it. The price is pulled back from its highs. But from the big picture, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And as long as you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. I'm going to be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a different strategy and different outlook kind of going into the trade. And to really illustrate this, I'm just going to get rid of that line because I want to try to really apply the KISS method here, keep it simple, stupid. And let's just talk about 0047. I am not saying the price is headed down there. This is strictly for example's sake. But let's say the price actually does pull all the way back down there and then behave in this manner before starting to head its way back up. What would you have in this situation? Emphasis on big picture. From the big picture perspective, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this previous set of lows down here. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, you still have overall stair steps, big picture stair steps heading in the upwards direction. Once again, I 100% realize if you're a day trader and you bought around here, you couldn't care less about 0047. I'm, that's why I try to offer up the, you know, the kind of warning that I'm gonna be talking about things from the big picture. So yeah, today the price pulled back, but think about that word, today. When you look at multiple days here, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base, and that higher base going into the next week is 0047. Resistance-wise, still there at 0075, uh, so we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, crazy day it looks like, but overall, the bulls recovered, the bulls still have a chance to build a higher low, so let's see if they can get the job done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.